Hi, and welcome back to Grassy Mitten. It's June 2nd, and the last time I put an application of uh, fertilizer down was April 22nd. And so today I'm gonna put some more lawn food down, but I've got some issues with weeds as well. So I'm gonna show you what I'm working with on that, and then we'll see what, uh, what we can do about that. All right, the lawn's looking pretty good, but I got some issues in a couple spots. Dealing with uh, like clover, chickweed, the clover issues in here and it just keeps spreading um, a couple spots of uh, other weeds broadleaf weeds and things like that um, some more stuff over here here some more issues with cloverish uh, type weeds so here's all this too yeah, I want to nip this in the butt right now. Let's see what we got to uh, fight this fight of weeds in the lawn. All right, so this is what I'm going to use this year for my weed and feed. Stay Green 3X Extreme Action Lawn Care Kills and Prevents Dandelions, Clover, and Crabgrass. I don't really have an issue with that, but um, it's a three in one basically. Covers 5,000 square feet. It's an 1801, 18 pound bag. Uh, here's the active ingredients in it. Um, for whatever reason, I grabbed a bag that was already opened and then taped. I don't know how I didn't see this, but. All right, first of all, when you're applying this, keep pets and children away. Um, and off the turf until the uh, application has been applied and the dust has settled. So basically keep your kids and, and pets away from this stuff because it does have uh, three active herbicides in it. So you don't want kids eating this stuff or dogs eating the pellets. Um, so that's first of all. Second of all, in order for the product to stick, see this is where the issue is with this but uh, when you're applying this product you have to wet the grass or do it in the morning when there's dew on the grass so the pellets stick to the to the leaves of the weeds and then you're going to want to let it sit um, for at least 24 hours on the turf before watering it in so that's it's very important to this uh, this product to work properly put it on wet grass damp wet grass let it sit for at least 24 hours, and then you can water it in, and then it uh, will take effect as it should. Also, delay mowing two to three days after application has been watered in to allow the, uh, the herbicide to take effect for the weeds that have been uh, treated with the product. Uh, here's your spreader settings. I've got the Edgeguard Mini, four and three quarter. Here is a list of all the weeds that it covers. I'm not gonna mention them all, but it covers quite a bit. I think my main issues are covered in this list. So there's that. Oh, also before I put this down, um, it also says the couple mowings after, first three mowings after applying this, uh, leave the clippings in the grass. That, uh, that'll help keep the uh, herbicide in the lawn. Also, do not put in the flower beds either. Just a quick little tip there. So I'm gonna water this in, or water the lawn and get it damp. Good and wet, so everything's gonna stick to it, to the leaves, like it should. So let's put it in the hopper and get it thrown out.
right, so it's June 2nd, so application's down. So we'll give it, uh, I'll say a week, and we'll come back and see how how it's progressing and check those those uh, culvert areas and see how they're how they're doing. A couple of dark spots in here. What's going on there? But okay, we'll check back in about a week. So maybe the ninth, June 9th. We'll say June 9th. We'll meet back. All right. See you back in a minute. In a couple of days. All right, it's Sunday, June 9th. Like I said, we're gonna come back in seven days. It's been seven days since the weed and feed application. I'm doing some landscaping, took uh, all those bushes out today, but focusing on the weeds, the clover. You can tell they're starting to, uh, to brown out a little bit see that they are starting to die that's a good good sign let's go over to the other side he's looking kind of yellowing out right here as well yeah, these look, they're starting to wilt. So I wanted to show you guys before I get a mow in. Um, over here by the street, I don't know if it hit them as well, but they're not browning as well as the rest of the yard, but I might have to do a, yeah. These are definitely hit. These definitely got hit. This one here too. I think it's working. Here's another one. It's starting to die out. It takes a while. The key is consistent mowing. Keep on top of it. Look at these things. I'm gonna leave them there. All right, so I'll check back another week, but I'm gonna go to mow in, and then uh, I'll check back next Sunday. And just one more thing before I get started. No bag in your clippings, the first three mows after the application, just remember, no bagging. Let them drop. All right, so we're back. It's 15 days post um, we didn't feed, and I almost couldn't find out where the clover was in my yard because it's almost non-existent. This is two mows past. It's dead. These are looking dead. I've mowed it twice since uh, applying and it's just kind of just going away. It's way less than what it was when I first uh, applied it. Here's Broadleaf weed that seems to be dying off. Another one here. Here's the weeds that were on the other side of the drive or the sidewalk. These are wilting away as well. Here though. These must not have got hit with the weed and feed as much because they're still, still looking healthier. And then by the street, these also don't look like they got hit by it either. This is looking sick. Overall, Overall, it did the trick. Some other ones that are looking sick. This one didn't, didn't get hit. But 
all the ones that are spreading seem to have pretty much got a got a dose and they're dying off so that's what we want look at that I could just come in and pull these out but I wanted the product to work cut that down a couple more times it'll be dead all right I think I might give it another week just to do a full full review on it so I'll come back next week all right everybody it's now June 30th no 29th June 29th and this is 27 days post we didn't feed application and you can't even see where well, there's a little tiny bit right here. That's about the last of it. But it's all just kind of uh, withered away and the grass took over in this section. So over here was a success. Leaf, wheat, leaf, weed is here. It's still here, but it's dying. A couple more mows and it'll be gone. Let's go over here though, across the uh, sidewalk. Now, in this area, it did pretty well, but there are some spots that I don't think got hit with the weed and feed. As, but when I started the spreader, probably right here, I probably missed it. But right here did not take. They're still alive, but um, most of the rest of the stuff got taken out. The edges right here, again, where I took off from this sidewalk in, I don't think I... I should have started farther back, opening the hopper up. But overall, I think it did a really good job out most of the weeds it's not gonna be perfect but, um, I got majority of the weeds that I was looking to get out so this is 27 days We've got some pretty decent rain lately the grass is struggling a little bit but now if you want a more accurate application Hate to say it, but liquid weed and feed would probably be a better option, um, just because you know where exactly where you're spraying. With the granular, you're kind of hoping for the best. And um, yeah, if you want a more precise application, a liquid would be better. Would be better. But if you just want to use granular, uh, this will definitely do the trick. And uh, you know, if you have some lingering weeds, you could just spot spray them, which is better for the lawn anyway. Instead of doing a broad overspray or over spread of uh, weed killer, so spot spraying and pull them out by hand if you want. Okay, a couple things before we end the video. You like the hat? Yes or no? Keep the sun off my head. I'm bald, so protect the noggin. Before application, try not to cut the grass two days before. Make sure the grass is damp. Make sure it's not windy. Don't irrigate 24 hours afterwards and mulch your clippings two to three times after this application. You'll have success with this product. Thanks for watching. All right, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.